fourplexes. Fourplexes, fourplexes, fourplexes. Those are my favorite, absolute favorite types of investments. And today I'm going to be helping a new real estate investor. Her name is Michelle. She's from California, and this is her video. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, folks. Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. I'm James Wise. This is Holton Wise TV, where we work with you one-on-one, -on -one, right? We provide you real estate education. But then we follow that up with buyer agency services, property management, construction, maintenance, landscaping, property insurance. Hell, we could insure your car if you wanted us to. Title insurance, yada, yada, right? You're full. One-stop shop, right? If it is something that needs to be done in your real estate investing business, Holton Wise can handle it for you, okay? But it starts with the education, the education we give you here on Holton Wise TV, right? And uh, my client, all right, Michelle, I, I like your story quite a bit. You have a very cool and unique story, okay? Uh, first of all, you, you told me you've been watching Holton Wise TV for over a year. <laughs> Thank you very much for, uh, for watching the show. And a few things struck me. Uh, about your commentary, right? Y you agree with a lot of what I say, right? Uh, I talk about fourplexes being my favorite investment. You spoke about that. You spoke about how you like side-by-side -side duplexes over the up-down duplexes, as I've said, right? So just there's just been a few things that uh, I I've tried to just reiterate over and over and over, and you've picked up on those, and you agree with those. So it's really great uh, to hear that my message is resonating with somebody. So uh, thank you for that, and I'm glad that the work I've been doing uh, means something to you. That's awesome. And I think you have a super cool story because – you are a bookkeeper, right? And you work for a wealthy person. And this person, your boss, who you do the books for, got wealthy by investing in real estate, okay? This this fella is a big-time real estate investor, owns a lot of uh, large real estate uh, buildings and holdings throughout the United States. And to get you started uh, on your own real estate investing journey, he is giving you a line of credit. He's giving you $75,000 to play with. Um, so you have gone out and, and you've convinced yourself uh, or you've convinced someone to give you a private loan, right? You've, you, you've grabbed yourself a private lender, guys. And that's awesome, Michelle. And that's what true private lending is, okay? We have hard money lenders out there in this world and we have private lenders. If you ever see somebody advertising themselves as a private lender, they're not actually, by definition, a private lender. What they are is they're actually a hard money lender, right? So I know a lot of people like to talk like, oh, private lenders are better than hard money lenders. They're cheaper. The terms are better. Again, if you see somebody advertising that they're a private lender, that's just a marketing gimmick. By definition, they are a hard money lender. That's someone who's in the business of lending their money in a non-traditional way. A true Real private lender is exactly what Michelle has done. She knows this guy personally, right? She works with him one-on-one. -on -one. She knows him, and she's like, hey, I already have a rapport with you. This is my business plan. Will you back me, right? That is how you get a real private lender, guys. These are people that you work with. These are your parents. These are your aunts, your uncles. These are your colleagues right these are people you know all right and you cultivate that relationship these are not people putting ads out on google trying to, uh, to to loan money to every tom dick and harry who wants to flip a house okay so i love the fact that uh well i love the fact that you've been watching my show michelle thank you and i just i love the fact that you went out there and you got yourself a private lender and one more thing uh you know, you, you know what you want, what you don't want. What you told me is you don't want to deal with point-of-sale cities, which is cool. It's You've been watching the content, and you've been learning, and, and you realize what works and what doesn't work for you, right? And you decided that you don't want to deal with the POS, right? Anybody out there who's watching this episode who doesn't know what I mean when I say POS, it stands for point-of-sale. Pause this video. Click the show notes below. 
I got a video explaining what the point of sale process is, right? If you're going to invest in the Cleveland market, you need to understand about the point of sale process because it happens uh, to be something you're going to deal with in a lot of the municipalities in this market. Believe it or not, Cleveland itself, not one of those municipalities, but a lot of the suburbs surrounding Cleveland, right? Euclid, Garfield Heights, Newburgh Heights, uh, to name a few. One city that used to have a POS is Lakewood, and that's the property we're talking about. 1486 West 117th Street, Lakewood, been on the market 48 days as of this filming. Now, Lakewood used to have a POS, Michelle. It no longer does. And they actually got rid of it before COVID, okay? So it's not a COVID thing. They got rid of that before COVID. This, I think, is going to hit your boxes, Michelle. You can do this deal with your 75k budget basically uh technically the way this is all gonna uh play out you're gonna need maybe like an extra three or four grand if it works the way i want it to um, but this is a quad in a hireably, highly desirable neighborhood, and I think it's going to be perfect for you. I actually looked at this previously uh, about a week ago for another investor. He was doing a, a 1031, right? Big-time investor, has a lot of funds. We needed to identify $400,000 worth of real estate, so I did a few videos for him, and he ended up going a different direction. So this property is very much available, and I think based on a lot of the stuff uh, that you've been telling me, the things you've picked up from the show. And you gave me, like, free reign. You're like, do what you think, you know, give me the property you think would be, like, the best fit, right? And I think this is going to be the best fit. So what I want to do first, real quick, I want to have you take a look at the financial analysis I did last week. 1486-1488 West 117th in Lakewood. Listed a little over a month ago for $339,000. This is a four-unit apartment building, so it will still qualify for that residential financing. And anybody who watches me talk and watches my show knows that I love quads. Quads are my favorite type of building because you get commercial quality rents, but you still get that beautiful low end interest, fixed interest, residential financing, which you two have been in the game since 2003, so that's no news to you, right? As far as the building itself goes, it's fully occupied. We have four tenants, right? Between the four of them, we're bringing in $37,560 a year. As far as what that looks like numbers-wise out here in the Cleveland market, of that $37,560, you guys could anticipate spending approximately 21000 a year paying Holton Wise to manage the asset for you. As you see my chart, none of these are going to be new or differing charges to you guys. You guys have been in the game 17 years. You understand fixed and variable expenses better than anyone. So this is the type of... Uh, performance metrics you can expect out here in the Cleveland market on average. So this should net you guys $16,560 a year. As far as the property itself, right? So far, uh, the rents, they seem great. Uh, as far as the units go, you know, fairly nice units. A couple of them have been updated, right? From my understanding, what we have here is, you know, just a rental that's been chugging along. As far as the mechanicals go, each uh, individual unit has its own furnace, its own hot water tank. Uh, they're all varying in ages, right? So we're probably going to see a decent amount of, like, mid to end of life stuff, right? So when you're going in to buy this, don't anticipate having all new fixtures. Uh, I don't believe the roof to be a newer roof or anything of that sort. It's one of those flat roofs, so... Uh, with proper maintenance and just doing, you know, every five to ten years doing your maintenance on it, we should probably be in pretty good shape. So don't anticipate it being brand new. But, of course, we need to do more due diligence. So if we want to move forward with this deal, we'll, of course, do a third-party home inspection, get a home inspector up on the roof to, to give you a little bit more details than that. As far as the neighborhood goes, right, this is Lakewood. This is what I consider to be a B to A-class neighborhood, right? We have a lot of very wealthy people living, especially on the west side of Lakewood, right? It's not uncommon to find five, six, seven hundred thousand dollar houses in Lakewood. Very, very nice neighborhood. As you go further towards the east of Lakewood, the values go down, but Lakewood is probably one of the trendiest and most popular rental neighborhoods in the Cleveland market. When you have a vacancy in Lakewood, that sucker gets filled immediately. If you have a nice unit and you price it right, there is no reason within one to two days you don't have a line of qualified tenants, right? So 
all Lakewood rentals move very, very quickly. You get a lot of high quality renters. So owning a property in Lakewood for the long haul is gonna make you guys buku bucks, right? So that's why I like this property. Are you a lender? If so, Holton Wise is looking to partner with you. If you're licensed in all 50 states, go to HoltonWise.com. Click the digital media tab to advertise on Holton Wise TV today. The only thing I don't really love is the price. They have it priced at $339,000. I think that's a little steep. Lakewood's great, guys, but I still think we need to get it a little cheaper. I believe the proper price for this is $315,000. And if we could pick it up at that price, it's a 5.8 cap. Of course, I love that financing. Can't talk about it enough on quads, right? We'll get the bank to loan you folks two hundred thirty-six thousand, meaning you only need to spend in cash seventy-eight thousand seven hundred fifty, which is a solid six point three percent cash on cash return. And you're going to have a very nice and stable long-term investment. All right, Michelle, welcome back. So that's. All the numbers on this, like I said there, I think 315 is going to be the right price. And I think it works out great for you because you're getting $75,000 from your private lender. So the down payment, as I said uh, previously, right, it's $78,750, right? So what is that? Six, seven, eight. So $3,750 additional to what you need, right? So you could essentially get into this deal with under $4,000 of your own money. And I like the fact that it's a quad for you because the cash flow, right? The cash flow after you pay off the big mortgage, it should still be four fourteen dollars a year, right? So that should be enough additional cash flow to allow you to just push right back into your private lender. So, you know, you essentially are getting this deal for 100% no money down, and you're using all of your cash flow to pay back your private lender, and that's your start in the business. So, like, are you going to make any money in your pocket today as you buy this? Probably not. I don't know the exact terms you and your private lender have worked out, right? I know he's giving you the 75 k and I think he told me he wants to charge you 5% interest, but you, you didn't give me the amortization schedule or how long the payoff's going to be. But you shouldn't be worrying about actually profiting because, remember, you're buying something completely 100% finance, right? It's not practical uh, in today's day and age in 2020 to go in and buy a highly desirable quad with practically none of your own money and still cash flow, right? So you would, under normal circumstances, be cash flowing about five Gs a year, but I'm just going to assume all of that money is going to need to go to your boss, right, your private lender. But once you get him paid off, because I'm, I'm sure he's not doing a 30-year loan for you, right? I'm assuming the loan is much shorter. I don't know the exact terms, but I think it's much shorter. I'm guessing, right? So once you get him paid off, though, You'll then be making approximately $5,000 a year off of this thing, have a really nice asset, and maybe uh, he'll loan you seventy five k again uh, to get you moving after you've produced for him. I don't know. That's going to be up to you and him. But for all those reasons, Michelle, I think this is the first deal I'd love to see you do. But it's your money. It's your business. This is just my take on it. So, of course, you don't have to do this deal. If you want to do the deal, reply to the private link. My team will start negotiating on your behalf. Then we'll get your inspection um, scheduled, things of that nature. If you don't want to do this deal, just give me some feedback. I'm assuming since he's involved, you're going to want to send this video off to your private lender, get his feedback. Maybe you guys kind of powwow, uh, brainstorm a little bit, and then come back to me if you want me to switch gears, switch directions, and target something different for you. Everyone else, if you're interested in working with me and my team in the same way Michelle and her private lender are, just go ahead and send an email sales at holtonwise.com give us your phone number my team will give you a call we'll talk to you about your wants your needs your goals your situation your finances and then i will put together a personalized investment procedure and plan plan of attack for you to start build or grow your real estate business and then my team like i said at the top of the show will handle it all for you property management maintenance construction insurance title insurance the whole shebang guys this is what we do at holton wise we are real estate investing made easy thanks for watching subscribe to holton wise tv for more financial information education and entertainment